Okay, I'm gonna blow your mind, baby. We're talking about the information processing system, human learning, perceiving with our eyes. It's magic. Perception. The environment doesn't give us all the information we need to make sense of the world. That's why we perceive patterns and we project onto it. Remember, almost 10 times more information flows from the cortex down to the thalamus than the thalamus up. That means whoosh, whoosh, information is flowing out. We're using that and we're picking up patterns and we're filling in the blanks. That is how we perceive. Now, the eyes never maintain a steady gaze. Eyeballs, they don't stay in one place. Our eyeballs flitter about like a butterfly. If you look at that butterfly picture, you notice that your eyes kind of dance around. <clears throat> it's called saccades, the tiny skips that the eye makes, and it has these periodic snapshots. Fixation is where the eyes stop. Now, when we read, our eyes do not move in straight lines. We stop and we skip. As a matter of fact, our eyes only stop on about 60% of the words. That means we skip 40%. We don't read every word. We think we do because our brain is filling in the blanks. When we see, we have what's called a fovea. Hold your arm out about the size of a grape at the arm's length. That is the only part that's really focused and crystal clear. So we have to move about to paint the whole picture. Paraphobia is about 8 to 14 letters. This is kind of fuzzy and the peripheral is all else. That's real fuzzy. So when we read, we're moving just that foveal across. Here's another example of it. We're reading. This is all fuzzy and this is all really fuzzy. All right. So we're using the information in our head as we read using minimal letter and word cues and we are filling in the blanks. This is a good example of the foveal, how it focuses in on just a very small part of your vision. Now look at your picture. See where your eyes wander as you look at that, the path. They actually do studies on this. This is where the eyeballs kind of wander to make sense of that. It's taking little pictures, little snapshots. The eyes never stay still. We create a picture of reality based on little snapshots. And again, that's how we look. It's interesting, a lot of da Vinci's pictures seem to be related directly to our eyeballs, uh, with the path that they take. Look at that picture. Where do you think your eyeballs, what path does it take? And again, they did a study on that, and that's kind of the path that they take. I looked at it some journals, some research stuff, and I came up with this. Take a look at that picture. Think where your eyeballs, pay attention. And they asked a male and a female eye fixation patterns. One of these is male, one of these is female. Which do you think is which? I'm not going to tell you. You can stop and guess the answer yourself. This is the end of part four. Part five looks at attention.